Is Angelo evil? That's not nice. What? You see that? Yeah. That, it actually, does that it look actually like, kind of looks like, like face? Face? it actually yeah. looks like a, a whole body almost. Yeah. Are there any spirits here that want to turn that light back on and off? That happened for a reason. That wasn't by coincidence. <gasps> Yo. I'm Mo Sargent. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of Haunted Mansion, those ghosts or spirits would tell her, build this, build this, to fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another video. It's about to be dark really, really soon. We're in a place called Heronia Regional Center. It's a, basically an asylum where thousands of people died here. We're actually in the cemetery part of the asylum. They say it's very haunted at nighttime. We're going to be doing a paranormal investigation here. By we, I mean Rennie over here. And I got... Angelo over here as well. Look, they're late to get into this. <laughs> but we are gonna be roaming the grounds of the asylum. We cannot go inside because there's literally police surrounding the building and the building next door. But we are allowed to walk the grounds and that's why we're gonna be investigating the grounds as well. Cause that's where a lot of people say they hear things and they see things. And they've actually seen shadow figures walking throughout the cemetery at nighttime. So smash the like button. I know you guys love these type of adventures and videos. Love you guys. Get yourself some live a little merch. Link is down below. And for those of you wondering what kind of spirit box I use it's the necrophonic spirit box you can download it I've actually got a link for you guys to download down below if you want to get your own spirit box through the app let's get on with this adventure there's a lot of graves down that way we're gonna show them to you guys the the families apparently numbered the graves or numbered their children because they didn't want people to know who they were and that's why they say a lot of the spirits in the cemetery are actually angry because their names never got remembered but only their numbers so we're gonna go there take a look at that do a little bit of spirit box sessions over there using necrophonic and then make our way to the asylum as you guys can see there's a lot of graves here but these aren't the ones that we're focused on right now there are some names on these ones but the actual numbers that we're talking about are all the way down that way and I am carrying an espresso with me because we did just drive like seven hours to get here and I do need to wake up a bit. The Heronia Regional Center was an institution for people with developmental disabilities. Established at this site circa 1887 and closed in 2009, this cemetery was established in 1899 and was used until 1971. Not all residents who died at the Heronia Regional Center during this time were buried in the cemetery. Some were buried elsewhere according to the wishes of their families. And their family basically didn't want people to know who they were. Damn. They were like, they were embarrassed to have family who were put into institutions like this. And they didn't want them People were literally put in this place to be forgotten. Yeah, basically. They, they didn't want their family members to be yeah. remembered here. That's they, they crazy. Had nothing to do with these people. No grave markers, nothing. So there could be so many people buried here that we don't even know about. Oh, yeah. So this is really interesting, you guys. There could be thousands of bodies buried here in this little grassy field. It looks like just a nice empty grassy field, but there could be somebody buried here. Oh, Creepy. yeah. Oh, wow. So right here are the numbered markers on the ground. These are the numbered markers that people... What the hell is that? I don't know. What is that? I have no idea. Something just started making a weird noise. Yeah. So there are all these numbers, as you guys can see, on the ground. And these are all the numbered markers for the people that were buried here that the families wanted to be forgotten. People, The families did not want these people to be remembered because they were embarrassed that their family members had disabilities, which is, you know, shocking. But look at that. And they say this place is haunted and people report vicious attacks by spirits probably of the people that were died here just because you know they're probably angry because nobody's remembering them and nobody wanted to remember them back then i want to remember them i want to see if we can communicate with them mm -hmm. do you have any idea what the numbers are so i think it's kind of like a log so they can remember like who was kind of where okay um Hmm. And then it, I guess it kind of goes like according to their file or something. They probably like logged a certain amount of patients. Yeah, numbers, numbers are all in place. So you're telling me right now we could be like walking on top of somebody's grave oh, yeah. without like, even knowing it. I imagine it. this probably this entire area is like Full, Yeah, because there are like thousands of bodies buried here. That's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and use a necrophonic spirit box. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to download it, the link is down below. We're going to try to communicate with some of these spirits before we move on to the asylum. All the graves that look like graves up there are actually the names of the people that were kind of like allowed to be named and like people to know who's buried here. But you don't exactly know where everybody is buried. It just says all their names. 
So this whole field is just full of bodies. Like we're literally walking on bodies right now. But the numbers are only the ones that weren't named. So I can imagine that these spirits are gonna be really super pissed off. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a necrophonic and see what happens. Are there any spirits that wanna communicate with us tonight? Help me? Yeah, I think that said help you. Does anybody need help? Are you angry? Where is where am I right now? Listen up. Do you want me to listen? Or do you want me to talk? Listen, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. it's all, they all said listen. listen. How many of you are there here? What the hell was that? I have no idea. Did you guys hear that too? Did you make that noise? Come. I heard come. Like, come to me. Come where? Do you want us to go to the asylum? I don't know if that wasn't that wasn't really a clear yes. Do you want do you want us to go to the asylum? I hear you. Can you can you see us? No. Listen again. We keep getting a listen. It's strange. We keep over listen. and over again. What do we? No talking. Listen, no talking. Maybe we should have my EVP recorder. That's a good idea. Listen, yeah, get, that's a good get idea. Get the EVP recorder. Let's see what we can get on that. Yeah. They keep saying, listen, no talking. Yeah, I keep hearing that. Yo, I just heard your name, bro. It said Angelo. Really? Yeah. I thought I heard that. What do you want with Angelo? He's the devil. Yo, what? I just got that clear as day. He's the devil. Oh my god. That must explain a lot of things. Every time Angelo wants to You're not the devil? That's right. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Is Angelo evil? That's not nice. What? What the hell was that? Bro, Siri just opened that up. That was Siri? Yeah. She's defending you. That's not nice. I never even said hello evil. I just said, is Angelo the devil? Yeah, yeah. Is Siri, look at that, it says why hello that, evil. Why would hello evil activate Siri? But Siri only hello? opens up when I say, hey Siri. Oh. Okay, that's weird. Here, I'm gonna try that again. Hello evil? Siri didn't open up the stuff. Yeah. Did you guys open up Siri on my phone? No. No. Is Angelo the devil? Is the devil around us? Are there demons in our area? What are we listening for? You guys hear a cat? Yeah. I hear something like dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, shh. Cut it. Do you guys hear Maybe that? Maybe we should listen. Yeah. Take their advice. All right, we're going to be silent for 30 seconds here. Turn this thing off. Can't you hear that? Are you guys listening with us? How mad are you guys? You must be pretty mad that you didn't get to get named on your graves. They only gave you a number. That would piss me off. I heard the devil again. That's twice now. I said we go to the asylum. Yeah. And uh, we see what we can find over there. We continue this outside. Yeah. Because a lot of the action happens outside of this place is from what we're told, not inside the building. So let's continue on over there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to use my K2 meter, but it won't even turn on. It's a fresh battery. And the batteries on these last forever too. Like I literally just put this battery in the other day. It won't even turn on. Wow. What? It just needs a How's yours? See, yours is working. Mine was actually like on already in my bag, which was weird. 
I don't know if it like accidentally pressed inside the bag. No, bro. Like, what the hell's going on here? I literally tried it out this morning before we left, and I put a fresh battery in two days ago. Yeah. Man, that sucks. Okay, you guys, we've made it to one of the asylum buildings, as you can see right here. Um, not gonna lie, it is a creepy freaking place. I've never been inside this place. Neither have you guys, because I haven't taken you in there. And we're just going to be exploring the outside of this place today. We are eventually gonna go inside on another day and explore the inside. But today is strictly outside paranormal investigation. Hoping to capture something. This place is magnificent though. I find it scary that the lights are on inside of this abandoned asylum. Apparently there's a security guard that roams these fields, but we haven't seen him yet. It's uh, kind of dirty in there. Go check through the window. I want you guys to keep your eyes wide open, just like we used to do it back in the old days. If y'all see anything, any type of orbs, anything out of the ordinary, anything even in these windows, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Definitely tag the timeline of it. And make sure you watch the video from the beginning to the end. Because you don't want to miss anything. So we are still trying to navigate our way through like a maze of cottages. Which is what they called them apparently. As you guys can see, it's this cottage CB over here. Cottage C building. And there's this other building over here. It's completely white and there's not a light on inside. It's really creepy. I want to see if there's a way to get in. If not, another time. But we're trying to find the most haunted building here. There is a building that's deemed to be the most haunted. Even if you stand outside, apparently you see some type of spirit. So it seems we made it to one of the other buildings. As you can see, the lights are all on. This place is 100% abandoned. It does have a very, very dark past. That's what's creepy about it too. It's abandoned. The lights are still on. Yeah. Interesting. So we got close to the asylum and we realized they had their own security over here. This is giant ass spiders. <laughs> They're everywhere. All right guys, so we just walked around to this side of the building and a security guard walked out of the building, got into his car, didn't even pay us any mind. Like he didn't he even look at us. I don't think he even yeah. saw us. We we're standing right beside him. No, he didn't see us. He, he didn't even acknowledge our existence. It's, it's like it was a, a ghost security or something <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that we could only see, but he, he didn't say nothing. And he just kept driving, so <laughs> I don't know if we can go in. I, I doubt it. I do want to get permission for this place because all the lights are on. And I don't want to get in trouble, in any trouble to get in here. So if anybody knows if they can give me permission to come inside, let me know. Please let me know. Hit me up. I will pay. I don't care how much money. I would love to come in here and do a, like an investigation. And I will pay for it. So if you know anyone, let me know in the comments below. Or hit me up in my emails. Yo, is this a bullet? I don't know if it's a bullet or... That looks like a bullet. Just found it on the ground right here. Yeah. Oof. We saw those last time. Really? Yeah. There's Somebody's... a whole pile of them over by the dumpsters over Someone's there. Someone's coming around and shooting bullets out here, I guess. Yep. Alright, you found another one. Yo. Okay, so I just took a bunch of night shots, night photos of that building right there, just above the security car. There's another security car here. And I got something really interesting. So as you guys can see from the pictures up on the screen, it looks like there's a face with one eye open on the brick wall. And then you could be like, okay, whatever, it's just something, a reflection. So I took three different pictures, and in each picture, the face changes. That's picture number two, and that's picture number three. I don't know. It could be something, it could be nothing. You guys let me know in the comments below. That freaks me out. So when using flash photography in places that are like supposed to be haunted, the flash helps you actually capture things that the actual camera can't capture without the flash because the light doesn't illuminate more. So it's proven to actually be useful in certain places. So let's hope we can maybe capture something here. Did you get something? Yeah. What'd this you get? Guy? Yeah, look at that. It's like coming down to the asylum. Or oh. leaving. What is that? No, it was Scrooge coming down. Yeah, that's strange. Here, let me take another one. Isn't it interesting that this thing allows you to see the stars better? Oh, yeah. Or these are just orbs. I don't know what they are. But that same thing is there. Whoa, what the hell is that? In the window. Whoa, what is that? That's a f face. Nice. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, it actually, it actually like, kind of yeah, looks like, like a face. face. It actually yeah. looks like a, a whole body almost. Yeah. Only in that window. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Like, is there something? <laughs> you know, there's nothing there. It's so weird. It's keep not there now. Yeah, keep flashing. I want to see if there's anything actually there. Yeah, there's literally nothing there. Yeah, and it's not in any of these pics. Look at this. That's cool. Look, I just took all these other pics. Yeah. And whatever that was, it's not there. Only in this one. Yeah. There it is right there. Mm -hmm. Zoomed in, you can see it. Whoa. I don't know. 
It looks like a face to me. I don't know about so you that's guys. So that's the inside window, right? Yeah, the, on the, the left, second one. Here, on oh, the okay, left. I was looking at the one on the this right. The second last one. Yeah, I know. There's still even that one. There's still nothing there. Wow. Let me zoom out and take some more. Whoa. What the heck was that all about? It was taking. It just took two more flashes. I yeah. didn't do that. That's strange. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's peculiar. I took my finger off the trigger. Yeah. I didn't do it now. <laughs> What'd you get? This it's a time? different window this time. The same face in a different yeah. window. This is the top window. I don't know if that's a face or an orb or something right there. Oh, I think yeah, it's, I it's an see orb. That. Yeah, it's an orb. I took a bunch of photos. I haven't reviewed them all yet, though. Yeah. Oh. You tell me what the f you see right there. Yeah, that's a person. Oh my god. I could literally that, oh my see god. a person that Rennie, get staring over out that window. Rennie, look at this. Come here. Is that not a face? That is a face. I'm not, I'm not saying this, but it looks like a face and two boobies. Like, yeah, like that's exactly what I see. I, I see a female literally standing, staring out that window. Bro, that's a fucking face. Yeah. It's not just the face, it's the body too. It wasn't in the last picture. That's crazy. What? Try some uh, nighttime shots aimed at that window. Yeah. Then, uh, that one right there. Oh, because I did get something in that, in that one too. Yeah, there's yeah. literally I got, nothing in uh, any of those windows. That's crazy. So you've actually seen something or got something there? I've got something in that window right there. Um, do you guys happen to drive a black truck? Yes. Yeah, it's oh, at the okay, cemetery. Yeah, you? it's my or, truck. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We walked okay. over from the cemetery. All right, then. Yeah. Cool. So I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> um, I'll see vehicles over there, yeah. and I just write a plate. Yeah. And then later on, if there's like Any, everything's trashed. Happens, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I, that's no, I have a really process. big YouTube channel, like three million subscribers. We don't trash places. We, oh, okay. Yeah, we just yeah. document like paranormal okay. stuff. Yeah. I watch that stuff. Yeah. I have to admit, I like, I love that stuff. Like, do you think it? Could have been a person that's secretly running around it, or was it you think like an actual entity of some sort? Uh, I'm not sure. I, w I have to walk everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. you walk and all around the building. Everywhere. Oh, that must yeah. be by yourself. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I so do this for a living, and I get scared to walk around by myself. <laughs> no, I, I have music playing. And yeah. Like oh, it's all, even worse. Music and walk around, but it's. Uh... Have you ever had any moments where you had to just run out? Uh, like you no. got scared? No. No, and you know, things, weird things have happened. Yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> and that's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just gotta turn this. But this is a this is the mural tunnel. So there's a tunnel that everybody painted on, and this is the picture that kind of weirds me out. I don't know if you oh, see yeah, this. There's like a black. Do you mind if I film right there? Sure. That's cool. So what is that like a? Yeah, I kind of see it too. Yeah, yeah. It's like at yeah. the end, right? Yeah. Well, there's a. The, you see two eyes here. And oh then yeah. You, Whoa. And then there is a shadow there. That's creepy. Interesting. All right, guys, so we just ran into a really cool security guard. Big shout out to her. Hey, what was her name again? Fiona. Fiona. Big shout out to Fiona. We just ran into the security guard. Um, uh, she was really cool. She actually showed us some ghost photos that she captured in this place in the tunnels. Apparently, there's tunnels running throughout this entire place. We are working on trying to get permission to get inside because apparently it's super illegal to break. I mean, we're not, we're not going to break in. We always get permission in places we go into. So we have been filming outside. I did capture a face in one of the windows. As you guys can see here, this is crazy. It literally looks like a, a female standing in the window. And even she confirmed that too. So, and she even confirmed from that she's seen something in the tunnels and she's kind of like she loves the haunted stuff but she's also kind of like a bit of a skeptic but she does believe in what she captured in the tunnels and what I've seen so that's pretty interesting so now we're gonna go back to the cemetery continue our investigation there and I'm gonna take a bunch of flash photography photos there before we do the necrophonic I find it very strange that we were just walking past this light and it just starts flickering on and off and now it's not doing it how's your k2 meter looking Nothing. Are there any spirits here that want to turn that light back on and off? That happened for a reason. That wasn't by coincidence. <gasps> oh, Yo! Oh. No f***ing way. No f Where's my necrophonic? Get your K2 out. Get your K2 yeah, out. My K2. What? I, I had a feeling, boys. I told you. I get these feelings. And these feelings tell me to start recording. <laughs> Were there any spirits that turned off that light? Did you do that? Did you do it? Oh, it's... Oh. Oh. There's no way. That's very... Can you turn off the lights again? Are you the one doing it? Are you following us? <gasps> okay. 
That's very crazy. It completely back. turned off this time. Yeah. Black box in my hand. So we are back at the cemetery right now. Gonna go back to that bench where the numbers were. And hopefully see if... Hey look, there's a bunny rabbit right there. Hopefully see if there's something here. And maybe capture on camera. Hey, what the hell? Guys! 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 Yeah. This tree fell. The tree where we were sitting beside the bench earlier? Look, it's blocking the sidewalk. The whole tree broke. Yeah, it wasn't like that before. What the f***? Angel, was that, that wasn't like that. No, it wasn't like that before. There's the, there's the bench like over there where we were sitting. What? It looks like it was struck by lightning. Yeah, but it hasn't. We've been here all night. There's no lightning or thunder. And no, there's no charring. It's just broken in half. Holy shit, guys. Yo, yo, don't stand too close to that. Yeah. It looks like it's just ha hanging on. What? Look, the, the leaves are still fresh. This this just happened. Yeah. We were here. We walked through the sidewalk as we were going to the asylum. Nothing was going on here. No, this happened while we were at the asylum. Maybe we pissed something off while we were trying to communicate with something. Let's go back to the bench where the numbers are and try to communicate with something. All right, you guys, we're back to where all the numbers are. And you know what I'm interested to see? What? If there is a number 666 here. Because there is 1777, 1740. Are these their ages? No, not ages. That can't be ages. That's not right. Yeah. But is there a 666 here somewhere? Huh, I don't see one. I see 1666. Look at that. 1666 right there. Oh, there you go. But that's not 666. No. So then how did they start off with these numbers? That's very weird. Let's get out. Um, I'm going to do some fast photography here and see if we can capture something. Anyone that's in the cemetery that wants to talk to us? It's weird how when you like ask for a name, it like suddenly gets yeah. a lot louder. It's like the, the volume gets louder on yeah, there. Yeah, it's like it just like blurts it out. It's so weird. We know there are spirits here that are suffering. We know you guys are angry because you didn't get to be named here. Do you want to communicate with us? This is your chance. music on this thing. Yeah. I'm gonna try the necrophonic. I feel like that one works yeah. the best. Yeah. Are you dead? Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so Angela wants to know if you guys are actually dead. Did you guys cause that tree to collapse? No. No. Who caused it? Who made the tree fall? Are there evil spirits here or are you all just friendly and kind of stuck here? I heard friendly. Yeah, I where are you guys right now? Are you on this planet or in some other plane of existence? Yes. Yes. Which, yes. Yes what? Do you still want us to leave? Earlier you told us you wanted us to leave. I like how clear the necrophonic is. Yeah. Um, sometimes you get really good. We're getting a lot more voices now. Yeah. yeah. More activity for sure. Are you guys If you guys don't know this, this is a communication device. You can communicate with us. All you gotta do is find the frequency and jump on in. I've never heard it do that before. Though. Yeah, that's, that's a weird, weird noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's done like five times now. It's like something tapping in. Are you trying to communicate with us? Where? 
keep putting something new around that area. What is that noise? I don't We've know. Never heard this I've before. never heard yeah. that before. Can you can you stop making that noise, or is this your way of communicating? Communicating. That's not, that's not like communicating. What is your name? Bill. Bill. I heard Bill. I heard, what's going on with Bill's lately? Is your name Bill? Can you confirm that? I'm telling you, Bill. Bill followed me home. I'd rather hope not. <laughs> Can you confirm that your name is Bill? Can you stop making that random noise? Huh. How did you die here? Were you guys executed here? Were you guys forced to do things you don't want to do? Were you abused here? Were you murdered? We know a lot of your parents that don't want you to be known that you were here. They were embarrassed of you. Does that... It felt like someone was just standing behind me. I know, right? I keep hearing like... The noise is behind the bushes here. The entire time we've been recording. Are you mad at your parents? Are you standing behind me right now? Go. Are you mad at your parents? Hey guys, let's go up here near near the numbers. Yeah. I'm standing right by your numbers. These symbolize your names. Apparently, your parents don't want you to have names. They're embarrassed of you. Does that anger you? Yes. Two or two. What's your number? Six. I heard six. Mm -hmm. We need more numbers. Four. Two? Four. 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 So six, one, six, four. One, six, four. What's the last number? Seven. Seven. One, one six, six, four, four seven. seven. One, six. Well, look at this one. That's one, six, six, seven. How is, it, how is it that we just started getting numbers all the time? It was like accurate because that's the way the numbering system seems to work. One, six, four, seven. Yeah. One, six, seven, seven, one, six. I really just heard it say mad. Are you mad? You know, a couple of times it said the name John. Yeah? Who's John? I'm getting this weird feeling right now, boys. Yeah. John, John, are you here? I heard the name John a couple of times. Maybe they don't like us standing on the graves. These aren't graves, though. These are just numbers. <laughs> Can you tell us your number once more? Eight. Eight. I don't think there is an eight. No. He just answered it for you. He said no. Yeah. What's weird is it sounded exactly like the way you said it too. Yeah. Where? One eight seven zero. One eight zero seven. One six seven four was the original number. One six four seven. One six four seven. I don't see that one. Guys, I think it might be this one because look. Oh, one that's it. That's six it. and then I, it's like crossed yeah, out that's here. One, six, four, four, that's four. One, that's six, one six four, four seven. seven. Yeah. We're right on top of 1647. What's the significance of this? Who's buried under the number of 1647? What is your name? 1647. What is your real name? What the hell was that? It's not like something just like swirled around us. Yeah. Are you here with us? Are you are you with us? One six four seven. Are you with us? Are you angry? Four. Why do they just keep copying out numbers now? We weren't getting numbers maybe before. I know. It's like a whole like group of them. Yeah. Maybe, exactly. Yeah. 
One six four seven. I have the necrophonic right on top of you. So guys, right now we're trying to get to the bottom of what one six four seven is and whose number that is. We we we're trying to have get a name. I heard a couple of Johns before, but could be John. I don't know. One six four seven. My name is Mo Sarji. This is Angelo, and that's Rennie. You know our names. We'd like to know your name. That was like four bills, yeah. four or five bills in a row. What the fuck is going on with Bill lately? Yeah, I'm not kidding when I say he followed me home. Did you follow Angelo home? Wow. Just literally went silent. silent. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, did you follow Angelo home? I have. Why are you following Angelo? What do you want with him? Bill, are you still with us? I thought I saw like I saw too. Come on over here. Bill, are you behind the tree? Bill, are you here in the tree or behind the tree? Literally, it looked like somebody was peeking out from behind this tree. Hey, Ren, you want to grab me a battery? Yeah. Battery's dying. That's the battery. The second battery. Another battery already? Yeah. Um, Look at that, it's flashing. It's a second yeah. battery. We really didn't film that My much. My K2 is literally dead. Yeah, your batteries are dying. My face feels hot. It feels weird. My uh, my EVP recorder did something weird too with the battery. Really? Yeah. It went down, then it went back up, and then it went down again. I have like a strange taste of blood in my mouth. Do you really? Mm. Yeah. I just coughed and it tastes like blood. Thanks. What's wrong? Can't access my memory card all of a sudden. Film this. Yeah, I'm filming. Look. Card cannot be accessed, reinstated, change the card, or format the card. I have a bunch of footage. Can't format the card. Yeah, what the hell? Take card it out. Cannot be accessed. Take it out and put it I back in. Something's going on with my memory card here. Yeah. That battery that just drained, that was a fresh battery. Yeah. Look, I can't even access my footage. Whoa. What do you mean, card? Bill, is that you? Are you messing with my camera? I swear I heard his other name. Now it says cards right protect switch is set to lock. What? What? What, the, what are they doing to my camera? Why does it sound like there's a dime? Did you guys hear that sound? Oh yeah. Dog? Yeah, I heard that. Dime. My camera won't work, dude. Uh, maybe try taking out the battery. Are you messing with our electronics? Electronics. That's what that sounded like. Yeah. There we go. It's working now. That's so strange. Yeah, it wouldn't work. That's Nothing weird. Work. Hey, did anything mess with my camera? Talk to me. Go. Holy shit. That was a strong go. You heard that? Was you was you messing with my camera some sort of like warning? Oh, what the hell? Who was that? That wasn't you moving around? It sounded like something was just running around the field. Okay. Hey, we've overstayed our welcome. Something did say go and then I heard something say death. Like a bunch of voices yeah. said death. And then I heard something run by Rennie. <gasps> Whoa, what the f was that? Are you guys getting mad that we're here? Yeah. It's, it literally just like said yes. Why are you getting mad though? Food? Are you hungry? Pressure. 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 
Is there a lot of pressure on you because you're dead? I just got like the shivers. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm telling you, I think we may have overstayed our welcome here. I want it to hear it from you guys. You want us to leave, yes or no? Are we bothering you? Is it true? I want to hear you say, please leave. If you say, please leave, I will leave immediately. Is, it, is this your angel? Oh, it's stuck in there. Oh, I touched that. Is that your angel in the tree? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, literally like a bunch of voices. Yeah. What, what would you do if I took your angel right now? It's as if they're all overlapping one another. It's yeah. very difficult to understand. What if I took said. your angel? Dude. Yeah, I heard dude. <laughs> it's like, dude, don't do that. I wouldn't touch the angel. If I moved your angel, what are you going to do about it? I heard leave. I heard your name. <laughs> do you know my name? Fine, I'm going to leave your angel alone. If that's what you want. What's that? All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and conclude this investigation. Let us know in the comments below if you guys managed to spot anything. We did capture some strange, odd faces in the windows of the asylum buildings. It's super duper late. We actually have to travel two hours from this location to another haunted location that we're going to be spending the night in. Smash the like button. Get yourself some Live a Little merch if you want to get yourself the Necrophonic and do some spirit box readings yourself. The link for that is down below. Be you do, stay positive, and just live a little. Ready? Ready to film? Let's do it. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, sir. 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 Ah. Uh, Are you ready to film? No, five more minutes. Five more minutes? Oh, what the f is that light? What are you doing? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Leave me alone. I want a nap. I want a nap. Come on. I want to sleep. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye bye. We're gonna film your video for you. Okay. <laughs> Yo guys, what's up? My name is Mo Sarji and we are here right now at an abandoned cemetery. We have never been here before and we don't know what to expect. I don't know who this guy is, but he's an imposter. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go explore guys. Let's have some fun. All right, let's go. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? I don't know. I don't know. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another adventure. It is getting dark really- You're doing it all wrong. Okay, <laughs> I need a little bit more energy out of you. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Woo! Woo! <laughs> there you go, drink up. All right. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> uh, Here we go. We're gonna put that on the blooper section. <laughs>